Hello and welcome to RadToots.com basic action script tutorial. This is going to be a basic physics animation tutorial and I'm going to explain how to use action script to move objects around on your canvas. So the first thing we want to do is create the object that we're going to be manipulating using our action script. And so just draw a ball, select it, convert it to a movie clip, ball underscore MC. Now we can apply action script to the object itself by selecting the object and then clicking the actions panel here and typing in our action script here but it's a lot easier to uh, to manage your action script if you put all your action script on the keyframes on the frames up here so in order to refer to this object we have to first give it an instance name so we're going to call this ball so now that we've given it an instance name we can refer to this object from the keyframe action script. So for example, if I wanted this ball to move to the right, on every frame it's going to move, say, two pixels to the right. So we use the command, first we have to refer to our object, which we called ball, and then we refer to the function on enter frame. Sorry, that has to be capitalized here. And we indicate that this is a function, a function of time. Now, say we want the ball to move to the right two pixels every frame. So every time that this ball enters the frame, uh, it is going to use this to refer to the ball because this is a function of the ball. So this object is going to we're going to modify the x coordinate of this object and we're going to say it's going to equal plus equal 2 so this ball should move 2 pixels to the right on every frame I'm just going to save this for posterity and let's go ahead and test this movie clip here and there it goes it's moving two pixels to the right every time it enters the frame. Now you can also use action script to control other variables of an object, for example the alpha channel. So say we want this ball to get more transparent every time it enters the frame. So we go this underscore alpha minus equals let's say three. Now if we run the movie clip, you'll see that it starts to fade out. And we, what else can we do? We can go this underscore y plus equals 2. So now it's going to move downwards 2 pixels every frame, as well as to the right. So it should go on a sort of a diagonal line. Okay, so let's say we want to apply gravity to this ball. First, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to start dealing with some variables, such as velocity and gravity itself, which is an acceleration. So let's create our y velocity of the ball and our x velocity. And we'll set these to 0 to start. And we're also going to create our gravity. Now gravity will just set it to a nice number such as uh, let's call it 2. Now if we come down here on our ball on enter frame we can say this x coordinate plus equals uh, this dot x velocity and now we're referring to this x velocity. Actually, let's set these to some numbers so we can actually see it in action. And the y coordinate is going to equal the y velocity of the ball, which we set up here. Now let's go ahead and test this. Okay, so that's working. Now let's say we want to apply the gravity. So this dot 
underscore y is going to equal itself plus gravity. Now let's set this some, somewhere pretty high so we can see the, the vast difference. And yeah, pretty sure that didn't work because uh, gravity is not uh, a variable of the ball. It is actually its own variable, so we'll get rid of the word this, and that should work. And there it goes. Now, the thing about gravity is it doesn't directly affect the object itself, but rather it affects the velocity of the object. So in this case, it's going to be affecting the y velocity. So every time the ball enters the frame, we want to be changing the y velocity of the ball. So let's let's do that. So the y velocity is going to increase by a factor of six. Well, not a factor of six. By six uh, every time. So we'll see what uh, what this does to the behavior of the ball. We'll change it to a smaller number so we can. Uh, so it doesn't happen too fast here. Let's see what happens. And we can sort of tell that it's accelerating. Like that at 2. Some various, very obvious acceleration happening there. 